Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have two boxes for you from Fruit for Thought. I have their fall limited edition pumpkin bakery box, which I'm very excited to dive into, as well as their October regular monthly subscription box. So I'll talk a little bit more about them as we go through. Both of them were kindly sent to me for review. If you are interested in subscribing to the monthly subscription, you can save 10% on your first box using the code NOEL10. Now if you're not familiar, Fruit for Thought is really fun. Every month there is a different food theme. Sometimes it's a combination of foods or a style of food and then everything in that box, everything in that curation is going to fit into the theme in terms of the flavor, the scent, or the color. And then she does a little bit more of course for the limited edition boxes. So this limited edition box is $79.99. It is not available anymore but I think she may still have a few of the sugar and spice and everything nice holiday limited edition box where you get twice the value yes it's a little bit more but you get so much fun in those boxes so I highly suggest it it would be a really fun gift box as well so consider that so you can already see now the uh, limited edition box that was sent to me pretty darn big pretty plain box of course um, but I went ahead and uh, opened it up so you guys could see the pretty tissue paper and then I will find our product card inside and you guys are going to be I think really impressed of course with all of this stuff so here is our card limited edition pumpkin bakery themed box it almost looks like a little gingerbread house or something and then on the back of the card she does tell us about the items that are inside so it says fall is my favorite time of year and I love anything and everything pumpkin so I especially enjoyed curating this limited edition pumpkin bakery themed box for you to enjoy or to gift or maybe keep a little give a little keep a little give a little that's what I like to do at least so let's go ahead and get started so let me see if I can find I'm gonna go ahead and the largest item out just so that it gives me a little bit more room obviously so this is really cool you guys we got this entire bag of decor now this is the same one that I got in pink box delivery which is great because now I have even more and these are just great little decorative balls and pumpkins and pine cones for you to use throughout your house and I love that aside from the pumpkin even though you can definitely use the pumpkin for Thanksgiving right because we're having pumpkin pie uh, I think they're great to have out year round some of them are just some of them are just like plain wicker like in light colors and brown colors so you could put them throughout your house in baskets just to kind of add some texture and a little bit of color so what a great item to have so let's see what it says about this accent your space with sparkling pumpkin potpourri mix by comforts of home pretty enough to leave out in a bowl and make the room smell like cinnamon pumpkin now I'm not gonna open this one up because I might share this and be kind of a fun like hostess gift but I will say that my first box that I opened up my first bag uh, they didn't like smell that much but they are a little bit different like they were more like like wood bits in the other one so maybe this one has a little bit more of a cinnamon potpourri smell to it all right you guys this is what I'm real excited about so this was at the bottom and packaged well this is just such a lovely little serving platter and again pumpkin themed of course but definitely useful throughout the season isn't that pretty you guys this is by primitives by Kathy it's just got a little bit of that like rustic glaze to kind of give those leaves and the stem a little bit more definition and it's pretty big you see so I love it so it says serve your cookies on a large ceramic pumpkin plate featuring a white glazed finish with subtle autumn orange brush detail on the stem and leaf it is hand wash only but I mean I think that's pretty easy to do so that was a little spoiler too we're gonna have some cookies in here so like I said there's always treats in here uh, let's see what the next thing is we got a blank note card so this echoes the uh, the image that was actually on the product card it says fitting for the pumpkin bakery theme I'm trying to open it up so that I can show it to you without the glare the blank note card is a print of the artist Kim's cottage art uh, at Etsy and says frosted pumpkin bakery and cafe painting so I think she probably like did a search online and then this is what came up and she was like oh well that's perfect for the box and so this is really cute and of course we did actually get a code for them too so you can use uh, autumn 15 for 15 percent off her prints that's really cute it's called the frosted pumpkin that's adorable all right it says then oh this is cute we had to include this adorable oven box which is perfect for our bakery theme it includes three delicious gourmet cookies by molly b's cookies you guys in our last box we got some of these molly b's cookies they are so so good these aren't the cookies your grammy used to make look how cute this little oven box is i'm trying to figure out okay there's the burners on the top 
There's the oven window. That's really, really adorable. Um, but then they open up. So it's loaded with fresh ground Arabica coffee, chocolate chips, and rum flavoring. They're called the Big Joe um, coffee, coffee cookie. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, one, one of mine was like a little bit open. So I'm not going to pull that one out. I think they're all the same flavor. Yeah, Big Joe. Fresh ground coffee, loads of chocolate, and rum flavoring. It's mocha in a cookie. Oh my gosh, you guys, so, so good. I'm super duper excited. Let me actually go ahead and open this one up all the way because, you know, I might have to like uh, test it out soon. So look how big and delicious those cookies look, right? They're huge. You could definitely share, but you don't have to. Um, but I don't know that these are gonna actually make it onto the plate because I'm probably going to eat them. So let me go ahead and put that back in there. Ooh, you guys, we got a candle. You know how much I love a candle. Um, this one is so cute. It's a pumpkin pie candle. I'm a little scared to open it up, but I will try. It's by Candle Lit Design, and it is, of course, pumpkin scented. It's almost too pretty to burn, but will make your house smell like fresh baked pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh, look how realistic that whipped cream on the top is, right? Isn't that super duper cute, you guys? And it even comes in the little tin like that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's actually not too sweet. That makes me really happy. You guys hear me say it all the time, but sometimes those super duper sweet baked good scents are too much for me. Like there are some candle companies that like specialize in that. And even though they're beautiful and they smell good at first, like sometimes if I smell them for too long, they give me a headache. But that one isn't like excessively sweet. I hope that holds true when I actually light it, but I'm not gonna wanna light it because it's so cute. It would be such a cute little like part of your like centerpiece decor and then you then somebody would like light it and you'd be like I didn't say you could light that candle they'd be like um it's a candle <laughs> I'm supposed to light it all right you guys more cookies this is this is a cookie laden box because it's a bakery box this is from Bizu sweet ginger molasses cookies oh my gosh these look good and look we got six of these so we got three of the giant molly bees cookies six of these honkers these look so so good it says bizu sweet ginger molasses cookies are soft and chewy perfectly spiced and flavored with ginger puree and crystallized ginger and gently rolled in sugar before baking these irresistible cookies are perfect for everyday indulging or gift giving and maybe sharing but i i, I added the sharing part i don't want to share i think it's officially like give up on your diet time of year <laughs> that's what it is and then finally you guys we got three different kinds of cookies in here oh my goodness we got a very beautiful one that i'm also going to be um really 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 nervous to uh open but like i will do my best it is a delicious hand decorated pumpkin fall sugar cookie by sugar bees um underscore sugar bees oh it got a little broken but that's okay i'll do my best to to fix it up so yeah my stem just got broken off at the top but i think i can i don't know i don't know if i can fix it it says uh this firm yet soft cookie is made in small batches with care simple real ingredients using flour egg sugar vanilla butter flavor butter and meringue powder that's like a technical challenge uh recipe on british baking show right where they're just like bake a cookie <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's got a little tiny crack on the back. I feel like I could maybe like royal icing that back, but I'm just going to gingerly put it back um, so that it doesn't get more broken up, hopefully. I don't know where to put it. I'm so worried. Okay, you guys, again, we got so much. We got that beautiful bag of fun fall decor that you can do lots of different things with. We got our really, really pretty um, little greeting card. The thing that I am most excited about, of course, is this gorgeous pumpkin plate because I like how simple it is. You know, it's going to go with a lot of different decors and be a like great little side dish thing. We got our really cute pumpkin pie candle. I think that is adorable. A lot of fragile things in here, so I'm being ginger with them. Speaking of ginger, we got six ginger molasses cookies. We got uh, three of those Big Joe coffee cookies, which sound great. And of course, that beautiful but a little bit delicate pumpkin cookie that I have right there. I'm going to put these guys down on the ground so that we can talk about our other box. I thought that was pretty good, you guys. I kind of like when we have a good number of edible treats, especially if they're ones that I will enjoy, just because I don't need a lot more things in my house, right? So it's kind of nice. And the things that we got are like kind of good home decor things this time around. So pretty fun. And of course, you can always use a nice greeting card cute one. All right, so we have our monthly box. This is the October box, again, sent to me for a review. The 
Monthly boxes are $41.99 plus shipping. The shipping, I believe, is still $7.99, and this is where you can use that code NOEL10. And this is what the box looks like. This is like the normal size box. So yes, the uh, other one was twice the size. Let me just get my sparkling pumpkins out of the way. They do have a little glitter on the, uh, on the pine cones. So our theme for this month was something that I love, which is carrot cake. You guys, I like the girl carrot cakes. No nuts in my carrot cake, but I love the cream cheese frosting. So, so delicious. I'll see if I can make some uh, carrot cupcakes to go along with this box. And then I did want to give you guys a heads up in case you haven't been seeing the notifications over in social media, but they've changed the November theme, which I believe is what is currently on sale still, maybe but not by the time you see this video, but hopefully uh, it's going to be banana split instead of peanut butter banana. Now I love peanut butter banana, but I know a lot of people have nut allergies, so I think that is probably why she made the shift to banana split. Like, I like peanuts on my banana splits, but we'll probably have a few more like ice cream sweet kind of things going on in there. So I think that was a smart pivot because, again, I know a lot of people love this box, and if you can't enjoy the treats inside, it would be no fun. All right, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. There's lots of stuff inside. And of course we have our little uh, cheat sheet here, which I will reference. Looks like we've got a few things. Now the first one that I am seeing, it says is a fall sampler pack. So I think it's some tea lights. So it came in this little um, tube. It says, this is from Collective Harmony Company, fall collection of fragrances with their mini tea light tins. The tea lights are 100% soy wax with an all natural flat braided cotton wick, phthalate paraben fragrance, I'm assuming fragrance-free oils, scents are autumn solstice, chestnut and cardamom, vanilla pumpkin, and designed especially for our carrot cake theme box, cinnamon vanilla. So it says, I fell in love with these. Uh, I, was, I started to pull it out and I thought it was like something loose, but really it's just shred. I was like really worried. I was like, uh, this feels like potpourri or something. <laughs> she says, I fell in love with the packaging and I knew I had to include these. So we got one that was specially designed. How cute. So they just have like a little label on the bottom and then it's just like a little tray travel tin. So again, we got vanilla pumpkin. Let me go ahead and unscrew that one. Ooh, that smells good. Now that one's a little bit sweet, but that's probably like the right amount if I just do the little like tea light. And there's so many things that you need to put tea lights in at this time of year. So this is kind of perfect. They're definitely bigger than like a regular tea light, but that's kind of nice for like the things like the ceramics that you have or pumpkins, for example where you want a little bit more. Ooh, that one is interesting. What is that? It almost smells like sandalwood. It says autumn solstice. So that one's a little more like woodsy into that. This one is, I'm trying to guess, <laughs> but I'm terrible at it. I think this is the cinnamon vanilla. Let's see. Yep, cinnamon vanilla. So it smells kind of like a churro or something, which is great. And then finally, I kind of like read over those and didn't actually pay attention. Finally, we have one last one and it is, hmm also kind of woodsy. It's like kind of hmm, woodsy with a spice. What is this one? It is chestnut and cardamom. All right. So that's great. So we got four candles. You guys know how long getting candles. So we got candles in both the limited edition box and in this one. Hooray. Very, very fun. Um, and I do like the packaging. That is adorable. You could share it. You could gift it, but you know, I won't. Uh, when it comes to candles, every once in a while, I'll, I'll share a candle. All right. Ooh, this looks good. From Grand Grand's Food, it's a carrot cake marmalade. Wow, I've never heard of that. I actually really like marmalade, but I always think oranges, right? But I guess it's a carrot cake marmalade. So it's still orange. <laughs> you probably really trick somebody putting that just in, into a little dish and uh, telling them it's marmalade. They'd be very surprised. It says, this takes tastes as you might expect it to, except pleasantly a lot more. Grand Grand's carrot cake marmalade is made with fresh grated carrot, oranges, cinnamon, and mixed spices. Its winter and festive flavors make it a constant bestseller. Wow your guests with canapes of goat cheese and carrot cake marmalade. That sounds amazing. Or just like having a whole log of goat cheese and then like plastering it with this marmalade. Oh, that sounds great. Um, Great with waffles and cream over cereals, scones, over any cream cheese, pancakes, good idea, and ice cream. So I, I never like put like chutneys and like, you know, jellies and jams on ice cream, even though it's suggested a lot. I do think it'd be really good on pancakes though. And yes, like they said, anything with cream cheese, because then it's going to be like a carrot cake. So that sounds good. And this is a huge jar. It is uh, 330 grams, which I don't know what that translates to, but you guys, it's a big jar. Okay. So that's why it was so hefty. 
Um, this is cute. Carrot and dip to go. Healthy snacking while on the go. So it's this little, <laughs> this is so cute. So it does have a flat side, so it's not just gonna roll off your desk, but um, <laughs> this is super cute. So let me see, it says great for office, school lunches, gym snack and travel. Carry uh, carrot sticks and your favorite dip for healthy snacking wherever you are. Uh, it says it's with gourmet carrot and dip to go. It is dishwasher safe and BPA free. I'm trying to, I have to, I think I have to pull the plastic off to uh, check it out. There we go. So it says to prevent spilling, it tells you how to open it. Oh, that's cool. So this little top part, you guys, is actually for your hummus or whatever else you want to dip your healthy snacks in. So yes, it could definitely be carrots, but you can also probably do like, you know, you could do pretzels and hummus this is probably what I do. Um, I don't know if this snaps open or it says place your finger on the side or under the tab and lift gently. So there's a little tab. See the little tab? So let me see if I can get this to open. Watch me like break it. I'm terrible with stuff like this. It always takes me a while. Or I break my nail, which is my, my nails have been sacrificed many times for things like this, but I'll have to see if I can open it up. There we go. Um, I just had to be a little bit more forceful. So this is what that looks like. I don't know if it, it just doesn't seem like it actually screws on. So yeah. Oh, it kind of like locks in place, right? So you kind of lock that in place. Cool. Uh, and then you have your, your carrots or your pretzels or your cauliflower. I don't know. Same thing. Oh, this one has like a little groove that you fit it in. And then I think then you spin it to uh, tighten it. Yeah. And then it just sits on your desk. I'll take some pictures for you guys over on Instagram for sure, because that is adorable. I think we might have some more edible treats, which makes me happy. Uh, this is from Noosh. Okay, we've gotten this uh, brand before in a couple other boxes. I think I've seen it in Hugo Box a few times. So this is a carrot spice cake. That sounds pretty darn good. So it says about this one. Noosh Foods took their carrot spice cake and spiced it up, making it soft and cakey. It's grain-free, keto, gluten-free, low-carb, uh, low-sugar, and delicious. So that's going to fit with a lot of dietary needs or restrictions. This is exciting, you guys, because we got chocolate. Savor a classic carrot cake experience with sweet frosting mixed in caramelized white chocolate with Chow Chocolatier, uh, carrot cake chocolate bar. So I'm super glad we got two of them because I feel like that's one of those things where I'm gonna like eat it and be like, oh yeah, that was pretty good. I kind of wish I had more. But luckily I got more. Can I put that in my carrot and be like, here's my healthy snack. <laughs> and trick people and they'll be like, oh, she's so good. Look, she brought like carrot snacks. And I'll be like, no, I didn't bring carrot snacks. I'm, I'm not that good. I have carrot cake and chocolate in here. <laughs> or candle, I could put a candle in there too. All right, and then rounding it all out, little uh, kitchen thing. This is cute. It says, I choked on a carrot. I bet a donut wouldn't have done this to me. So we just have a little tish, dish towel. It's from Artistic Reflections. It's a 16 by 28, 100% cotton towel, machine wash, cold water. So it is kind of printed on there. It almost looks like a computer transfer. So um, I don't know how where, well, it looks like it'll wear well. It's because it doesn't have that like layer where it seems like it's going to peel off. But it definitely, doesn't it have that look like someone printed this on their computer and then like ironed it on there? It's pretty darn cute though I will say that so it says I choked on a carrot tea towel features a humorous design on artistic reflections 100% uh, cotton again so that's cute um you guys know I'm really terrible about switching out my tea towels even though it's adorable um, but that is true uh, I don't know I like donuts but I like carrots a lot too so let me know in the comments below if you had to choose let's say you had to eat it every day no calories would you choose carrots or a donut would you choose carrot cake or a donut. Do you like carrot cake with nuts or without nuts? Just tell me what you like in the comments below when it comes to uh, carrot flavored things. I actually really like carrot juice too. I think it's delicious. I know some people think it's gross, but carrots are one of those uh, foods that has like a lot of like natural sugars in it and I really enjoy them. So what's up doc? Uh, I did enjoy this box quite a bit because I happen to love carrot cake. So we got quite a few lovely snacks. We got our marmalade, we got our chocolate, we got our noosh like cakey bar. We got some fun things to use in the kitchen like the towel and the carrot snack to go little kit. And then of course we got those lovely candles. So I really like this box. I'm excited about the banana split. I don't know that I like 
feel like ice cream is kind of like a summery thing, but I get that she had to pivot. I really loved all of the cookies that we got in the bakery box. I'm super excited to try those out. But you guys let me know what were your favorite things out of both of these boxes. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.